welcome back to my channel. My name is Tia, aka Teacup Simmer, and this is another part of our niche series. And we are back in our Zephyrin tribe, our much smaller Zephyrin tribe. We have finally gotten our big, like our big little host of of bone children now, who are no longer children. It seems they are all fairly grown up. Um, to this new island that unfortunately does not have a snowport. Um, but you guys can let me know down in the comments what where you think we should go next if we should just kind of Take over this area and then just kind of meander over to this grassy port whenever we get the urge or Try out this like super duper hard um, It looks like forest port over there or not forest port, but rain, but um, jungle port over there but um, we are back in the tribe and we are uh, last time we had some really adorable babies we had Aponi and we had Chia because the bone children just got off of their port and realized that this island may not be what they expected but it looks like they're actually doing fairly well they didn't have to use any of their resources they still have a ton of food they were immediately able to find nests and get comfortable and have their babies and now we have three other females who definitely need to have their children. We're gonna have to figure out what we're going to do if we're going to start moving over this way. And we're having a little bit of a royal struggle, you guys. Because I didn't even realize this, but I was looking into Jeans and Usa, our beautiful little Usagi, who, a bunny, oh my gosh, she still looks like a bunny. Um, She's getting a lot older, actually. She has 10 days left. A lot of our creatures are getting older, and that's why we need to sit down, have a bunch of children. We're gonna have another baby boom, you guys. But um, we need to sit down, have a bunch of children. But Usa actually is related to the family line. So let me see, where is Usa? She is actually Lonin's daughter. And she even has those beautiful purple eyes to prove it. She does not have ram horns. So unfortunately, she won't be able to pass down that um, pass that down on her own. However, we do have a few other creatures here who are related and may have, um, not necessarily directly related, but may have some hidden genes that have include ram horns like Bakar over here, who is definitely mated with Usa, who has the ability to mate with Usa. So some of Usa's children might end up having those really coveted ram horns and she might end up becoming a, a little bit of, of a forced to be reckoned with when it comes to all of these three very formidable females fighting over who's going to be the next ruler. Currently, she's not really worried about it. She's worried about the little bun she has in the oven. We're trying to figure out where she's going to be able to have her baby, which is a very understandable thing to worry about considering they just moved to a new area. And we have Nalini, Hana, and Anara all kind of jockeying over who's going to get the best nest, who's going to be able to have access to all the best berries, kind of like puffing their chests up a little bit trying to see who's going to break first who's going to be the one to back away from possibly being the next ruler and it looks like because Hana seems not Hana excuse me Anara seems to have be she's younger than all of them especially younger than Hana and younger than Nalini she might end up kind of pushing her way into the spotlight. Um, I think she would defer a little bit to Hana just because she's older, but once Hana is no longer around, I guarantee you Anara would kind of jump on that opportunity to be the next in line, especially with her little baby Apani, who is definitely in line to be the next ruler after all of these three. So right now we're kind of working to see who's going to kind of, um, win out when it comes to um who when who and it comes to being the next ruler of the zephyrin tribe and this this section of the zephyrin tribe it might end up being about who has the best babies which might be really interesting because currently um nalini had chia and chia is a very healthy baby she's adorable and she has really good hind legs and good eyesight and all the things that we want in a tribe even the tribe however she's not that strong but she has really good collecting and really good cracking and so i think we're gonna once we figure out how hospitable this very dark and mysterious island is we'll be able to see what the tribe is actually going to start 
um, valuing more. We're of course always going to value those ram horns. If Nalini has a uh, has a child that has ram horns, she's definitely going to be able to assert over Anara that her that her children should definitely make, mean that she should be ruler. However, if we start getting a lot of carnivores, goddess forbid we end up having to deal with an ape of some kind because we do have a little spot of jungle all the way in the corner over here. If we end up having to deal with some apes or anything like that, we might end up seeing that some of our creatures start to value Anara's strength and her claw ability. So we'll see how that turns out, especially since she's one of the only fighters that we kind of have in the tribe right now. I'm going to end up having to add in that claw. I'm going to move the eye here and then we're going to add in that claw for the next set of babies just because we want to make sure that all of our babies have good eyesight and we start to add in that the little bit of strength because everybody seems to be have the ability to have either ram horns or antlers but we, and everybody seems to have big body except for Rokiro and I think Usa, Usa has, Usa has medium body. But we're definitely going to end up seeing how the tribe is kind of going to shape themselves around. The boys are going to kind of feel everything out, kind of go out and exploring because all of the all of the um, ladies are going to kind of take take it upon themselves to kind of figure out where the what the hierarchy is. So enough of me rambling. I know I talk a lot, you guys, but the, we're starting a new chapter. Oof! I'm just so excited. But we do want to make sure that we do get make sure we start having a lot of babies. So who can mate with whom since Nalini and, and Anara both are open for mates now so she can't mate with Rokiro who can she mate with nope she can mate with Rota but that that might mean that they have a melanism child um, and can she mate with she can mate with Bakar so she's kind of regulated to um, to Rakesh and um, no, Rakesh and um, Rota, which is kind of funny. They're, she's either lab regulated to the very extremely white creature or the very extremely um, melanism creature, albinos, albino versus melanism, which would be very interesting because we it's very possible for us to start having some very dark and very pale babies. So we're going to see if we're going to get her over. I'm going to get her over here because I think we should try and have um, we should try and have Rota's baby. Um, we're not gonna move that way. And I think she'd just kind of sit over by her daughter, kind of be a little bit protective. Um, let's see. Hana is getting up there, so we kind of want to just sit her down and let her, let her kind of, um, get comfortable, start and have her baby here. We'll definitely be able to break down that nest. Um, let's see. Anara, she has... Who can she mate with? She can mate with Rakesh and she can mate with Rokiro. And so we'll see what, we'll see what type of baby they have because she, um, I don't know if I want her to have the baby now. I think we'll wait. Yeah, we don't want to have too many babies at one time. Um, I think we'll wait on that. So Usa is getting older. So is Naya. So we kind of want them to have their babies ASAP. So let's have, ooh, she can dig this up. Let's have, I think she would just kind of come over here and set up a little bit of a space for herself. Naya is, I think, a little bit more reserved because she doesn't have her twin with her anymore. Her, she was with, um, oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot the name. Ibai. Okay, there we go. I was about to go crazy. I can't believe I forgot her twin's name. But Naya has always been part of a set. She's always had Ibai with her. And so now she's on her own technically she is having i'm pretty sure she's having whose baby is she having i don't remember whose baby she's having actually now that i think about it but she's going to end up having her child without without her brother her dear brother with her and i think that's going to be very upsetting for her but and i think bakar is going to be one of the few ones to kind of understand and look after her because they both had twins they both had someone that they really cared about that they had to leave behind on the other on the other island and so i think they would be these two would become fairly close and they also can meet with each other which is good they we're gonna have some nice healthy babies they have good eyes Eyes. They both have good eyes and they both have good hind legs and digging digger paw. These two are gonna if they start having more babies, they're definitely gonna have some good babies. So these two are gonna do fine. 
and he's just gonna clear that away and I think he'd just come up sit over here so these two can kind of have their own little bit have their own little side thing just because Naya, Naya isn't has never really been as vocal or as um as outspoken as all of these other um I in my head I think of them as queens <laughs> warrior cats um but then she's in there and she's not as outspoken Usa is the same as well Usa is very jumpy um and everybody loves her however she um but she but I think she is a little bit um deceptive deceptive in the sense that I think she's a, a lot because she is actually a, a really great at collecting I think she's a, a surprise that not everybody will rec will realize how interesting she is so we're gonna put all three of them on an S just because I think it'll be nice and so we're gonna have all three of those all three of those ladies on an S and then we're gonna send the boys out I'm gonna have Rakesh go this way oh bunny and look, we found another berry bush. But we're gonna have the boys kind of venture out into the wilderness to find, um, to see what we can actually see. Because currently we don't really know much about this, about this island. Everybody is going to kind of scooch this way. I don't know what that is. I think it's just a, yeah, I think it's a swamp. It's a, sw it's a little swamp tile, but we're going to end up like taking taking up residence underneath this tree since we have a lot of cracker jawed creatures and we're probably in a lot of creatures with good collecting. So we might end up um, being able to kind of get settled over here and then Rokiro will have found the stump. There we go. Rakesh, look at what you found. And so we're going to be able to start clearing away some areas. Um, being able to kind of let everybody go and explore the new island that they're going to be contributing to or they're going to be turning into their new home. So we're going to skip the day and see what babies we're going to have. If we're going to have some more strong creatures um, like Anara or we're going to have some very nice and fast and nimble creatures. We are doing very well with genes. This is why I wanted our creatures to have good eyesight and good hind legs when we got here because now we can just see where where all of our small our, all of our little mixes of genes will get us. So let's skip the day. <sighs> Ooh, and we got some boys and a pretty baby girl. Okay, Simeko, and what are you? She is nearsighted, eye, short-sighted eyes um, inactive. She has good hind legs. She's gonna be a little bit of a runner. She has mediocre fertility. She's not bad, not bad. Who's your dad? I forget these things, Simeko. Okay, Bakar. So this is Bakar's baby, which totally makes sense since she's going to be a little fast, a fast little thing like her dad. Oh, that's gonna be so cute. And she just, she just looks so sweet. Like she doesn't have, she doesn't have ram horns. She doesn't have any of that extra stuff. She's just so cute and simple. So, and then we have our little boy, Nunu Vaughn, who has melanism recessive, has stinky tail, he has spiky body, which is good, nimble fingers, good hind legs, good eyes. He might have a little bit of a, so he has a good, he has a good, he has a good scratch to him. So all of our creatures seem to have about two. So we're gonna, we wanna start getting that claw in. I might end up starting, I don't wanna um, encourage ram horns just because I want it to be something that kind of shows up in our tribe as more of like a hereditary thing than something we kind of encouraged through the genetic menu but I really want to start getting that claw in so that we can make sure our creatures can defend themselves and then there's Roku who he looks like good eyesight yeah would means that Rokiro's baby is has good immunity good eyes medium tail Oh no, he has webbed hind legs. Oh, that's 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 upsetting. But he has runner's legs, so he's not going to be completely um, unhealthy in the sense that he'll be able to move around a lot. So he'll be okay. Roku, we're gonna we're gonna do something with you. So we're gonna have to name the babies. And I like the little girl. The little girl is adorable. Um, let's do. Let's do Mira. So Mira's cute. So we have a Mira, 
And then what's we're gonna name the boy? Ooh, we're gonna name this little one. Where did it go? Rumen. Because in our in our list of names, our list of never ending, um <laughs> Rumen means ruddied and red cheek definitely fits with this little one because he's a little nice tan brownish color so cute and then we have Nunu Vaughn we have to find a good name for him I think um let me see I think Usa let me see Azad I think she'd name him that he he looks like he looks like he would be a very a very commanding presence once he gets older he's going to be very pushy unlike his mother who's kind of like a deceptive pushy like she gets everybody to like her and then she does what and so she can do kind of whatever she wants whereas her son will be very pushy and very outspoken i think this will be and especially growing up around all these other creatures i think that would make very much sense and so we're gonna have hana you you had whose baby okay that was bakar's baby in the next few parts specifically because we're trying to make sure that we one don't die out I think once we hit 20 we'll be okay for right now and we'll kind of like taper off but we want to make sure we keep our ratios good um we have a good mix of genetics currently we have a good mix these two actually have the same genetics um but we don't want to be having like the same the same creatures have babies all the time it's like we don't want to have all G's everywhere so we want to make sure we have some creatures having babies with Rota and things like that. So let's see. Hana, who do you mesh well with? She has she has Rakesh and she has Bakar and she has Rokiro. So I think Rokiro would be her next mate and I think because Nalini is going to be I think Nalini would end up becoming more of like a queen of the nursery so she would end up staying here and looking after the little ones who just end up running around a little bit and I think we're as we move this way she's going to definitely pull all of the all of the little ones out and about but currently it looks like she's it looks like she's going to be looking after everyone um let's see we're going to have Hana go this way towards Rokiro and then she's gonna just hide in that grass over there as we kind of explore and then Rokiro nope come on there we go so I think especially if Hana gets over here first and we find a permanent nest if she is able to claim it I guarantee you she's probably gonna be like well I got here first so ha 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 um I think Inara would be very attached to her little girl. So I think she'd stay over here and kind of look, help Nalini look after them. But I think Nalini would definitely have taken charge of the nursery. Kind of like how her father and her um, grandfather before her took over the nursery and looked after it in a, with a very stern but loving hand. So we're going to have Inara just kind of sit here, have her, ne her next baby, Usa would go off and explore because she knows her 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 little son would definitely be safe with all of all of these other creatures and i think naya and um bakar would just because they can move fairly fast they're they both have a good runner's leg i don't think they'd be in a hurry to move around and um to move around and kind of see around the island i think they'd kind of want to take care of they take care of themselves kind of start a little bit of a family i think they would get really close to each other so let's have i kind of want them to kind of start mm, let's move her over here um let's have her do this thing so she can get pregnant then move over here attack the crab it so that they can kind of work on they can work on this area together like so there are so many crabbits around here i think they'd kind of make a little bit make a little bit an area for themselves and then rota would be drawn to this new area and kind of start exploring out this way oh look we found a healing plant this will definitely be helpful if we start getting any of those issues with sickness that tend to happen a lot um in tribes where we only have a certain number of creatures we start off with 
and I, I think I really think Rakesh would really like this area really like his little stump but I think we need to go ooh but I definitely think someone will kind of get up on that and kind of survey a little bit maybe one of the babies will find it an extremely interesting area and kind of stick around there but we're just slowly moving our way over this way kind of exploring seeing what's out here we have a lot of berry bushes so definitely a place where someone can kind of get settled and sit down right there I think that's a regrowing spot so we'll definitely end up being able to like have someone sit there kind of hide in the grasses and pick berries as they as we kind of grow our tribe and make sure we have enough food we have a ton of food right now so we don't really have to worry about it but we're just right now kind of growing the numbers everybody's getting comfortable having all the babies and this is going oh he got a leech bakar you got a leech we're gonna have to get your your new mate to kind of come and take care of you so let's see Let's do, let's change up the day and see what type of babies we're going to have. Ooh. Oh, I heard, I heard something, I heard something bad. Yes, we have a clawed baby. Ooh. Do Grove on, who is adorable and also has claw. That's what we need. We need some clawed babies. Yes. For strength. This is what we're going for, guys. Oh. Poor Rakesh, he's not, he is, oh my gosh, and we have birds. See you guys, this is, this is what I expected. A, um, a very interesting <laughs> island with a lot more issues than the one we just left. Our other island was very peaceful. This one, not so much. So we are going to have to deal with this. So Rakesh, we're going to, have, you are going to be like a big beacon in this, in this area. Now, sir, we're going to have to do something about this, and I can't have you being a little bitty beacon in the middle of our forest. Um, who is going to be able to help him out? So we've got two strength on her, two strength on him, two strength, two strength on everyone. All right. Um, and everybody else besides him is fairly hidden. So we're going to have Rakesh come over this way. Um, oh my gosh, we have two healing plants. We might not, we might never have to worry about like creatures getting sick again. Oh gosh. And then we have a bird just like hovering, hovering over our small babies. Oh my goodness. I'm so, 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 so uncomfortable. Okay. So right now we're going to take care of the babies. Everybody has, we have our babies tucked next to all of the mamas. Nalini is definitely going to be very, very protective right now. Um, we're going to have Naya jump into jump into the nest and Bakar come over here to protect all of the other little ones Naya is gonna just take that leash off of him because of course she cares about her mate and they're just so cute and we might end up sending him over this way to just kind of take one of those healing plants well since we have them and we can use them for something um, what's the best way? We might end up having Bakar. Bakar is probably going to sit here to take care of all the babies. Um, I'm trying to think about the best way to do this. Um, well, I don't think, I'm pretty sure that these two, Aponi and, um, Aponi and Chia, I'm pretty sure can go out on their own already and let's have Apani go this way I think she'd come hang out with I'm pretty sure Rakesh is her dad I'm pretty sure I'm not positive though we're just gonna we're gonna wing that um let me see Apani Apani sweetie where are you yep it's Rakesh so she's gonna come hang out with her dad who is going to be saying, okay, you shouldn't really be here because we, we seem to have an issue with predators. Um, and so we're gonna sniff him out. So he's right there. So our goal is to get all of our creatures over here. And can he jump? Okay, so he can jump this way. So we're gonna have him jump over here. She can jump. Okay, we can only jump so far. All right, 
So we're going to have certain number of creatures be able to attack him at one time. Usa is not pregnant. And Hana is. So we're going to kind of let her sit over here and kind of clear out spaces. Um, let's have Neronu attack. And then we're going to have Rokiro attack and Usa. And I don't think we're going to I don't think we're going to completely take him out, but they're each going to be fine. And if they do get hurt, we have these two healing plants which are perfect, like perfection. And we're just going to have Rota continue to explore. Aha! Nest. So we might end up getting Hana to come over here and take up that permanent nest. And we have our other little babies. Mira and we have Azad and Rumen, who we already moved. And then we're gonna get, let's see. I think these two, since the babies are actually kind of getting a little bit bigger, I think they'd kind of take out the nests, the, at least the temporary ones and kind of slide over so that they can start moving out this way. Because of course, I don't think they'd be that happy that Hana is a little bit closer to their new um, family territory than they are. So I think this is where we're gonna end this bit. So we're probably going to get, let's have her move. Well, he's taking care of these two. She's watching over the babies. So I think all the babies are gonna be fine. And Anara is going to start moving out that way. We have to name these two. That's what we got to do. Our new clawed creatures. Oh, I'm so cute. They're so cute. Our new clawed creatures. Oh. Morocco, who has K and G. And Dugrovan, who has K and C. Yes, we have another creature with C immunity. Oh my gosh. It took us so long to get it in the other one. I'm kind of surprised. So who are we going to name them? Um, Dugrovan, you have digging and claw and fluffy tail. Um, let me see. Up in such a, they're going to be growing up in such a very adorable, like very loving area. Like these two are going to be very good to take a look after, look after little babies. So we're going to name him Anbu, which is going to mean love in our tribe. So Anbu, who is adorable, even though he has like the claw and he's going to be reckless and awesome. I'm going to love it. And then we have Morocco, who's going to be, she doesn't have any horns. She has possibility for antlers. Um, What other names do we have? We have Mira, Chia, Aponi. Trying to, I'm trying to give you some variety. Ooh, let's do Dara. Dara means star in our tribe. So Dara would be such a cute name. And she is definitely going to be one of the main features of our new tribe. One of the new creatures who's going to be kind of showcasing that strength that she's going to have, those great genes. The webbed hind legs is kind of is gonna drive me insane. Um the eyes, I'm okay, so the eyes are gonna bother me. But I feel like we need to do something about the ugh. Well we have two we have two creatures with okay, so I wanna keep okay, I'll keep the claw in. This is what I'll do. I'll keep the claw in for um, Naya's baby. She has good eyesight and they have good hind legs. So what else could we encourage? No, I'm pretty sure that's it. Maybe we want to encourage like maybe. No, I think we're going to put in. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is regular hind legs. So we're just going to encourage that. But Naya's baby is definitely going to have that already, is going to have good hind legs already because they both do. So it shouldn't be that big of a deal, but we want that claw. So 
we're going to like we're i'm gonna end this part right here you guys but we're going to just see what naya's baby's gonna be like so we and then we're going to see next time what happens when a bunch of creatures that can kind of hide and find and protect themselves with the grasses and we have a bunch of fluffy tailed spiky bodied big bodied creatures that and how they'll do against carnivores and then in this very very um it looks like it's a little bit more hostile than than i expected <laughs> So let's see. We're going to, just going to skip the day, see what Naya's baby looks like, and then we're going to end this part, guys. <gasps> They're getting so big. Oh my gosh, they look so great. And a little boy, Vuan Kuta, with those beautiful blue eyes and active. I really want those eyes, guys. But he has a fishing tail, and he has digger's paw and runner's leg. Not bad, not bad. He doesn't really have much collecting, but he will be good at fishing, which will be great for this area over here, since we're, our territory is going to be right up against the water. And if we see any, and then they were going to have this river right here that might end up having some fish, so he might be able to kind of spend his time on this area over this way, which is nice. So if he's going to be a little fisher... What are we going to name him? I don't think I have any names that pertain to fish or water. I'm not sure. You guys might have sent it to me. Like I said, we have a list of never ending. So if it's in here, there's, I, have probably, I have a big, there's a big possibility that it's in here. There's summer, sky, ooh. There's Itsaso, but that's a that's a female name, and that one's for ocean. But I like it. Um, maybe we can name him after Ibai. <gasps> yes, he doesn't look like Ibai, but I definitely think he, Naya would like see that little tail and think of her brother. And oh yes, okay. So we're gonna name her second son after her twin brother Ibai. Yes, that's going to be so cute. Our second Ibai. Oh, yay. And so he's going to be a little fisher, a little fisher creature. He's going to be adorable. And our nursery is growing, you guys. We have now have 18 creatures. We went from 10 creatures, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, to 18 creatures in three days. Oh my goodness. And oh my gosh, he bypassed everyone. He bypassed all of them. They, he can't see them. <gasps> this is going to be fun. All right, so this is what we're going to do now, you guys. I'm going to close this part out. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please let me know down in the comments. And oh my gosh, I just remembered. I haven't actually announced the winner of our raffle. So if you guys you know, this is the episode where I normally, uh, normally announce the winner of the last two episodes raffle. So the winner of this of the raffle is... Dun, 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 drum roll, please. Dun, 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 dun. Rain Shadow! Woo! Yay! Thanks so much for commenting, lovely. So if you want to pick up your niche key, please feel free to um, send me a message on the back end on YouTube. Um, you also know how to get in contact me any other way you see fit. I, all of my information is in the description box below my videos. Um, but this is going to be the last episode recently where I'm going to be doing niche key raffles. It's not the end, you guys. It's definitely not the end. Um, I'm going to be doing more raffles in the future. I just don't want to do too many at one time. So right now we already raffled off three niche keys. Um, and if you guys want to see more, if you guys want us to do more raffles or things like that, possibly secret um not secret, but special events where we raffle off keys. Um, I'm going to be doing some more streaming um, in the future, so we might do that for events. So let me know what you guys think, what you guys want to see on the channel in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and please subscribe if you really love me, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!